guys, what's going on? My name's Eclipse, and the other day I asked you guys over on Twitter, what are some cards that you want to see added to Clash Royale? So today I figured I would take some of the best and some of the worst ideas that you guys gave me, and in return, hopefully I can provide an entertaining video for you guys. Now on yesterday's video, I said if we broke 10,000 likes in 24 hours, I would put a $10 iTunes gift card somewhere in this video, and thankfully you guys broke 12,000 so thank you so much for that like like honestly the support has been amazing recently so thank you from the bottom of my heart so there will be a hidden $10 iTunes code in this video and real quickly since you guys have broke 10k likes on my last two videos let's do it again let's break 10,000 likes on this video you guys have done it two days in a row so how long can we keep the streak going also my giveaway from the other week is still going going on so on the screen here this is everything we're giving away and if you want to enter just click the link below and follow the instructions but with that being said let's get right into today's video so to start things off I figured I would just go over the top suggestions first so the two most common requests I got were for the heal spell and the healer so obviously both the heal spell and the healer are from clash of clans and I'm sure most of you have played clash before but if you haven't they heal your troops now even though these do exist in another supercell game i feel like these can actually be useful in royale like let's just be real think about it would you like to run a healer in your deck and do you think a heal spell can be useful because i can tell you right now a heal spell would be amazing and having a healer on a tank or just a massive troop that just opens so many more possibilities like imagine a healer and sparky a healer and royal giant people would literally hate you it'd probably be really overpowered but but I do like the suggestion. And the next card, which a lot of you guys requested as well, was the dragon. And I do apologize for saying two troops that are already in Clash of Clans, but I just want to say the most popular request first, so bear with me on this one. But my initial thoughts on a dragon in Clash Royale is... That's overpowered. Let's think about this logically. If the enemy places a dragon, you're pretty much screwed. I imagine it have more hit points than a baby dragon, but less hit points than a lava hound. So this thing would be like an air tank that does splash and tons of damage. I really don't think this would be fun to deal with. It'd probably piss me off a lot. It would probably anger you guys. So I'm not too sure if I can see this ever getting added, but you guys seem to have wanted it. And we are now moving on to the final most popular request and this is the air defense so the reason I put this here at the bottom is just because if they do add an air defense then I can easily see them adding a healer and a dragon because right now if they add a healer and a dragon there's not really too many counters to that other than what we have now but if they were to add an air defense then the dragon wouldn't be as overpowered and an air defense would give us another counter to the lava hound because right now the lava hound is somewhat of a pain I usually rely on the inferno tower to take it out but having an air defense would give me something to mix it up a bit so if they add more heavy air troops in the future then I can definitely see an air defense being added however if they don't add any new air troops then an air defense is kind of useless now derp gave us the best suggestion of this whole entire video rest in peace Arame <laughs> Jewish Lewis said the credit card. Now the credit card is already in the game, so I don't know why you want to add another credit card. But real quickly, I just want to talk about this because I do think it's somewhat funny. So we all know Clash Royale is classified as pay to win, and Supercell tried to add tournaments to help these free to play players out. But the thing is, the players who win tournaments are pay to win players. That definitely backfired a bit because the free to play players don't get any benefits from tournaments really. Rest in peace. The next suggestion is King slash heroes, I guess you can say. Now, in previous videos, I said this was a stupid idea, but I'm just going to try to play devil's advocate and be open to both sides. So, first of all, if they do add heroes to Clash Royale, it shouldn't be another card rarity. Legendaries are already hard enough to get, so if they were to add a hero rarity, hell no, no one would ever get it. What I do think would be interesting about heroes, though, is what if they were unlocked at a certain level? So let's say you hit level 8, you unlock the Barbarian King. You hit level 9, you get the Archer Queen. You hit level 10, 
you get the Grand Warden. So what if heroes were unlocked at level rather than randomly from chest? And then once you hit a certain level and get a hero, let's say you can equip one hero per battle and maybe it's a power card where you can only play it once per battle. Now of course I'm an idiot and this might sound crappy to you guys but I do think the concept of a power card or a card you can only play once per battle, I don't think that would be a completely crappy idea but it probably won't work out. Now the next suggestion we have are walls and to me walls are pretty similar to a freeze spell. A freeze spell is like a ghetto wall. If there was a wall in Clash Royale it would stop all ground troops except the hog rider for a few seconds but if you have a freeze spell it literally stops every single troop for a few seconds. Now I can see why some people would want a wall like you know my boy Donald Trump he would love this but some people like me think it might be a bit of a waste but of course I can see where you guys are coming from on this one. The next card idea is the suicide card and basically you play this card when you find a royal giant or sparky because you know you're automatically gonna lose. It's the perfect card. Next up on this list we have the landscaper and the landscaper is from this commercial right here and a lot of people were actually speculating that this is going to be the next legendary. Personally I think this is more of like a meme rather than actually happening but if the landscaper did get added to royale what would he even do? I can't see this card being added whatsoever so this is at the bottom of my list for now. And the final card of the video is definitely the most important card and I think we should actually start a petition to get this one added to the game and this one is the Eclipse card. As you can see this was an actual leak found from the game, zero photoshop was in this, the text is identical to every other card, it fits perfectly in the legendary frame, this is 100% legit, yes that is right I'll be getting Getting my own card in the next update please congratulate me in the comment section below so guys I will be wrapping the video up here but please leave me some feedback down in the comment section below what cards do you want to see be added and why if you guys haven't already liked the video please be sure to do so so we can reach that like goal of 10,000 likes on this video and if you haven't already entered my massive giveaway the link is at the very top of the description as well but guys this this has been Eclipse and peace out.